Good morning. It's Monday. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, if you are watching, I would like for you to say hello, check in, and that way I know that you were here, and it gives me a feel for who's watching, who the audience is, and and just uh, encourages my soul. So say hello, and we will continue on. Today we're going to be in John chapter 12, verses 39 through 43. It is 10 o'clock. Time to get started. Uh, I'm also going to give a book recommendation. Now, I haven't done any commentaries yet, and this is a one-volume commentary. It is the MacArthur Bible Commentary, and unless you have a MacArthur Study Bible, uh, you would like this. It is really, really good. It's, it is uh, a go-to. Now, you could get the whole commentary set, which uh, is that one there, goes all the way... It's quite expensive, and this is a great one-volume set. Thirty-nine ninety-five is what it used to cost. Um, may also may cost that now. Um, we have seven people watching, and I'm not seeing where anybody has chimed in and said hello. Uh, if you are, uh, say hello. And I'm um, wondering if I've got some technical issues. Uh, let me just get it started. There you go. Okay. Um, <clears throat> So how was everybody's weekend? We had some big news from Pastor Tom. Um, he's going to take uh, some time for himself. Praise the Lord. Glad he's doing that. And so um, I'm uh, holding down the fort here. And uh, I hope that you will, uh, s when you see him online, say hello and give him your best. And we will all continue to pray for his good health and healing. Okay, it is two minutes after. I must have technical difficulties because I'm not seeing anybody's comments. Uh, let's see here. Um, nope, not seeing any comments. So, um, because normally y'all are chiming in pretty quickly by now. Um, okay, well, that's okay. You all uh, keep doing what you do and I'll keep doing what I do. And we, we overcome obstacles. Sometimes things just don't work the way we want them to. <clears throat> All right, so uh, John chapter 12, verses 39 through 43, and I'm recommending a commentary today. It is, it is rather sizable. It is the John MacArthur, the MacArthur Bible Commentary. It is a really, really good um, one-stop source for referencing Scripture. And there are others, and I, I may show you some other single-volume sets so that you don't have to um, uh, buy the whole sets. And there's other ones. And Now, Pastor Tom, he's got, like, I don't know, 30, 40, maybe even 50 commentary sets. Uh, primarily, I use Logos Bible software, and I probably have that many electronically within that system. And I like that. It makes it... Uh, easy for me. All right, so <clears throat> this you will find probably CBD online or Amazon Books. It is uh, got all kinds of great information for you. You go studying a book of the Bible, and that will be a tremendous resource for you. And then I'll talk about a couple of other resources um, in the days to come Bible Dictionary and maybe a couple of other. Uh, resources. Okay, um, so we are going to get started here. It is four minutes after, and so it is time to get into the Word of God. John chapter 12, beginning in verse 39. Now this is Jesus with um, scribes, Pharisees, people who believe, don't believe. All right, it's picking up in verse 39 of chapter 12. For this cause they could not believe, for Isaiah said again, he has blinded their eyes, and, ha and he hardened their heart, lest they see with their eyes, and perceive with their heart, and be converted, and I heal them. None of this is red letter that I'm reading. This is all um, the Apostle John writing his thoughts. Verse 41, these things Isaiah said, because he saw his glory, and he spoke of him. Verse 42, nevertheless, many even of the rulers believed in him, but because of the Pharisees, they were not confessing him, lest they should be put out of the synagogue. 
verse 43. And this is the focus for our devotional today. For they loved the approval of men rather than the approval of God. That's the stickler that I want to focus on today. Um, quite often, more often than not, I find that the average believer um, is afraid, fearful, almost embarrassed to share the gospel with people. Um, it's a sad, sad truism. Uh, people are afraid they'll get blasted, they'll get yelled at, they'll get cussed at, they'll be rejected, they'll lose friends, they'll lose family. But we're talking about life and death, eternal life and death, eternal salvation, eternal damnation, far, far more important and powerful and, and impactful than losing a friend, having a loved one angry with you, um, losing your job. So I want to challenge you to be bold for the cause of Christ. Be bold in your belief. Be bold in sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, don't be like the people in verse 43 who loved the approval of men rather than the approval of God. It was more important to them to have friendship and approval and and be accepted than it was to have a great relationship with God for all eternity. All right, that is um, what I wanted to share with you today, and I hope that that will uh, burden your heart and have you uh, step out and start experimenting with evangelism. Start experimenting with uh, sharing your faith. Maybe the easy first step is to hand out Bible tracts, to leave them here and there, and then step into the next phase of being a little bit more bold. Uh, and if you would like some tips, if you want to learn how to do that, then I really would like for you to get in touch with me, and I can get you started step by step. All right. Uh, if you do not have a church family, we would like to be your church family. We want you here. And so I would hope that you would come on out. Uh, first of all, first opportunity is going to be this Wednesday at 10 a.m. in our fellowship hall, socially distanced. We have coffee and we have snacks and we go through the word of God verse by verse. And uh, we're usually out by 11. Uh, then the second opportunity is going to be Wednesday night, our first Wednesday night Bible study in seven months. <laughs> so <clears throat> we're excited to get started in the fellowship hall socially distanced and again uh, hopefully we'll have I know we'll have coffee and and uh, perhaps some tidbits to eat as well so come on out for that love to have you bring your mask <laughs> and uh, if you're having coffee and and uh, a snack according to the law you don't have to have your mask on just keep that little drink there in front of you all right <clears throat> now Sundays we are having our indoor Sunday worship service at 11 a.m. I'll be bringing a, a message from Psalm 46 this Sunday, and we uh, will worship our Lord in spirit and in truth together. We look forward to you coming out, and uh, let's go ahead and close with a word of prayer. Father, we thank you so much that we could be with you today, that we could uh, look into your word, talk about some resources, and Father, we lift up to you uh, Dwayne Orr, who was in the hospital in pain with his legs, and for uh, Bobby Meredith, who is in rehab and Carillion and uh, making progress, we pray that you have your hand upon him. And Lord, we just love you. We thank you. We praise you and uh, have your hand upon dear Pastor Tom. And we uh, pray all of this in the precious name of Jesus and all God's people said, amen. Thank you. Bye-bye.